So, we're talking about thanks and giving thanks and thanksgiving. And boy, is it getting close to Thanksgiving, isn't it? It is. And this is Spiritual Rants. I'm Jerry Rothhauser. Do you remember Steve Martin? He, <laughs> he used to do uh, a joke. He'd say, thanks a million. And then he'd say, thanks a, thanks a, thanks a, thanks a, thank you, 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 thank you. As if he was going to say it a million times. Because he was insane. <laughs> and then recently... I saw a GIF. You know what I mean by that? You know, people, they don't communicate in words anymore. It used to be like true is T-R-U, L-O-L, things like that. Now it's just pictures. They just send videos of what they are trying to communicate. So... Recently, I had <laughs> cause to celebrate, and so when I found out, I sent uh, a gif. Not a gift, a give, a gif. And it was a person saying hallelujah. And I thought that was cute. And now, the more I think about it, you know what hallelujah means? It means praise Yah. It means praise the Lord. And I, I don't know if we should say that in a light way. Praise the Lord. Just something to think about. You know, it doesn't mean don't say hallelujah when, you know, something goes well for you. Of course, we've been talking about giving thanks no matter what the circumstances are. So, you know, how do you handle something that's a tragedy? Do you give thanks to God for that? Now, years ago, I interviewed Reggie Jackson. You know who Reggie Jackson was? Is? He was a famous New York Yankee and played for a few other teams as well. He had hit three home runs in a World Series game. So not just three home runs in a regular season game. He hit three in a World Series game. One single game. Three home runs. And afterwards, he gave credit to the Lord. So, I interviewed him like a year or two after that, and he looked at me like I had antenna. He's <laughs> from Mars. And I said, you know, you hit those three home runs, and you gave credit to the Lord. And that's when he looked at me crazy. And then what he did, uh, I have the uh, recording still. <laughs> and you could hear him telling me the story of footsteps in the, stand, in the sand. And what you can hear is he would punctuate the sentences with spits of tobacco. So he'd say, oh, it was like uh, walking in the sand. <laughs> but it was really kind of cool. And, of course, you know, someone had said of him that, he was such a big hot dog that there wasn't enough mustard in the world to cover him. And after he finished that story, and you know that one, don't you? Footsteps in the sand. If you don't, Google it or Bing it or Yahoo it, uh, whatever. Look it up. And after he told me that story, he abruptly turned and walked away. <laughs> But, you know, he, he said to me at that time about the three home runs, he said, well, you know, yeah, I gave credit to the Lord, but, you know, what if I strike out three times? 
in a game. You know, then what do I do? And his point was that he could give thanks to God whether he was striking out or if he was hitting home runs. And that's a good attitude to have. And I like Reggie. I still do. All right, now here's something else. ACTS. If you've read my blog, you already know what that means. And probably on the podcast, I've mentioned it before, ACTS. It's a good pattern for praying, ACTS. It's an acrostic. Adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication, which means make requests. But do you start with your prayers with Adoration? You should. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks a million. (laughs) Do you know that Jesus himself gave thanks before meals? Now, he also sang hymns. Hymns. Not like contemporary rock songs. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but hymns are so much deeper and edifying. And Jesus sang hymns. But he gave thanks before he ate. He passed out the fish and chips, well, loaves. In John 6, 11, it says he took the loaves, having given thanks he distributed to those who were seated, likewise of the fish, as much as they wanted. There's uh, a movie from, I think, the 70s. It's my wife's favorite movie of all time, Shenandoah. And the main character in it sits down to pray before a meal and basically thanked himself. Well, he thanked the Lord and he said, I thank you even though I'm the one who did all the work and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. He was like thanking himself. Now, there's only one person that should be thanking himself. And he did it basically is Jesus. He was giving thanks for the fish and chips. And who was he giving thanks to? Well, the father... But he is God, Jesus, so basically he was thanking himself. In 1 Corinthians 11.24, it says that when Jesus had given thanks, this was at the Last Supper, he broke it and said, this is my body, broke the, the bread, this is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. But what he had done when he passed out the bread, the Last Supper, he had given thanks. And that's why when we have communion, we do it in remembrance of Jesus. But he had given thanks. And if he had given thanks, wouldn't you think we should give thanks? Of course. Now, This is a pretty cool verse, I think. I had memorized it at one time. Hebrews 13, 15. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is, the fruit of the lips that give thanks to his name. That's what we should be doing all of the time. It's a sacrifice because... We're acknowledging God rather than ourselves and thanking him, not ourselves. And what we do, I think, I've been thinking recently, you know, especially like with the gifts that have hallelujah in them, we could just take something that's really important 
and glorious, actually, to say hallelujah and demean it by turning it into jokes. For you have not come to a mountain, Hebrews 12, 18, it says, that can be touched and to a blazing fire and to darkness and gloom and whirlwind. Verse 19, to the blast of a trumpet and the sound of words which sound was such that those who heard begged that no further word be spoken to them. Verse 20, for they could not bear the command, quote, if even a beast touches the mountain, it will be stoned. That's Old Testament law. Verse 21, and so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I am full of fear and trembling. Moses was afraid at the giving of the Ten Commandments. Do we not realize how great God is and how holy he is? When there's strong winds, storms, tsunamis, earthquakes, a reminder to us that God is a holy God. And, you know, in regards to that, this generation just cares nothing about sin. I mean, it's all around. And even sometimes, you know, I have to catch myself. And what I'm watching on TV, it's like sin. God hates sin. And we think we can just get away with sin. Well, we think we just get away with not giving thanks for food or all the good things that we have in our lives. But also, as we've been looking at different passages, we need to give thanks in everything. Like we saw in Ephesians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians 5. You can go back. You know, you can't wear those out. They're digital. <laughs> you can go back, listen to those podcasts again. If you didn't catch everything in there, take notes if you want to. But keep in mind that God is God. Another comedian, Chevy Chase, used to say, I'm Chevy Chase and you're not. Well, <laughs> substitute God in there when God says, I'm God and you're not. Consider that. And don't forget to count your blessings. Name them one by one. That's a hymn. <laughs> Have you heard it? Do you know it? Count your blessings. Count them one by one. This is Spiritual Rants. I'm Jerry Rothhauser, and I hope next week you'll be downloading again.